Hello, and welcome to Aloft. And I'm really hoping that it's meant to look like this, because, yeah, it's kind of got these like big old letterbox bars there on the sides. Anyway, this is a survival crafting game, but it talks itself as being a bit more casual and cooperative. Which, I, d I will say, I do prefer my co-op survival games to my PvP type ones. Um, I prefer things more like Don't Starve to say things like uh, Daisy, basically. Right. Anyway, we're going to get into it. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, looks like we might have a character creator. Right. Toggle clothes, background. Oh, wait. Who's a bot's character creation? Bot. Let's just have a look here. What is happening with the graphics? Video. Yep. I have no idea why it's on that. Right, hang on. Okay. We've found the correct things here, I think. Um, let's just crank all this up. I put that, yeah, let's just crank it all up to high. I've got a pretty beefy graphics card. It should be able to take high settings. Right, I think I'll just use the mouse for the moment while we're navigating menus. Okay. Ah, so we'll go up here. We're going to create... Well, this is, this is what it comes down to, I think, when it comes to character creators, as to whether you're going to create a man or a woman. What's better, the selection of hairdos or the selection of beards? This is very important. Like, it looks like most of these, like if you don't like braids, you're probably screwed. Yeah, they have a real thing for like, braids and afros. Just like skinhead type stuff. Um, ooh. I think we're going with a block. Right. You can be skinny, muscly. Or a bit tubby. <laughs> we're gonna. Oh, I thought that was hair colour for a moment. No, we're gonna go and make basically someone who looks like a dwarf. Right. Miscellaneous, finalize. <laughs> right. Ta -da. Oh, hair as well. We didn't do hair. I just changed the colour. Um It's perfect. <laughs> Truly perfect. Uh, there we are. Create new map. Let's go with Demo World. Go. Okay. So my understanding at least of this is essentially you are trying to there's like a sickness with the islands and the land and our goal is to kind of go out there and fix it oh 
There we go, it's starting to load in. Oh, I can see my... I can see myself. That's nice. Lots of games don't do that, you'd be surprised. Interact with your first knowledge stone is our objective. What is a knowledge stone? <laughs> is it this? No. Maybe that's it over there. The most valuable resource, creativity, creativity was truly limitless. Workbench. Right. Um. Hmm. Oh god, I'm I'm moving the right stick around. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use keyboard and mouse for this. Ugh, that was yeah, that felt really bad. They do this sometimes when you play a game. You know, build a workbench using the building menu. Let's build it up. It looks like a nice spot. Right. I'm glad that I can kind of just swap between on the fly. Um, crafting. Using the building menu. Oh, B is the building menu. That was, I think, the inventory menu. Right. Right, we need to gather more twigs, I guess. Maybe we'll find some around the trees. Maybe I can grab this. I can. But yeah, it's uh, something I often find that they do with uh, a lot of PC games. You can kind of feel like the... Uh, controller support it feels like they've not wired up the analog sticks correctly so you'll kind of oh we've got a fair bit of stuff here um yeah so what you'll do is you'll be moving the analog stick and it's not really properly set up right They've probably just tied the same controls up to it as you would use for, say, like WASD or the or the mouse or something. It just kind of, it I don't know. It feels janky. It feels like I'm only moving it in. It feels like I can't move it in two directions at the same time, you know. So I push it up into the. Uh, I don't know. something I, I don't quite know how to word it but it feels a bit off trying to look around um right mix only yellow dotted ingredients together to discover new recipes add resources to begin crafting leaf cloth And now we can just make that, okay. So it's kind of like Minecraft where you kind of put stuff in and get stuff out, but it remembers what you've learned so you can mess with it in the future. 
I didn't pick up small stones. Right, small... Oh, there we are. Get a sharp stone on the workbench. We're probably going to make an axe, aren't we? Okay. That also probably isn't helping. 28. Ugh. How is it only running that much? Maybe we do need to turn it down a bit. No, oh, well, whatever. Um, what are we doing next? Craft a pickaxe. Stone hammer. I think I know. What if we get two sharp stones? Because the pickaxe, yeah, has two blades on it, doesn't it? So that makes sense, right. Oh, so when I blueprint them out, I'm not actually creating one. That unlocks the recipe. But it's not actually making one. Right. There, there, and there. Follow the path up the mountain to uncover its secrets. Oh. Okay, that's pretty interesting. got then up the mountain I wonder. Can I smash through this? I can. And I get stone for doing so. Okay, cool. What have we got in here? We're now wet. Alright. I think that's where we came from. Seen all these boxes along the top here. I guess these are meant to be like braziers, aren't they? That are no longer lit. We've got a path here that goes further up. Oh, 
floating bricks. Kind of cool. Right, so everyone's living on the island. We'll build a house. And someone learns to fly. Hmm. Glider stand. Ah. Okay, we've unlocked loads of cool stuff we can build. Turf, okay. Machinery, glider stand. And decorations. Which includes storage. Ooh, we can customise it. Hang on. Ah, it spawns me over here. Nearly died. We're going to have to make a workbench here, aren't we? use. New glider. It will be Can I paint it red so it goes faster? I don't think I can paint it red. That's more like a brownish colour, isn't it? Could go black and maybe that looks kind of cool. Oh, you can have patterns. That's not bad. That's alright. Let's go with that. Okay. Oh, E to equip. Oh. There we go. Explore the rest of the floating islands to find a way out of the archipelago. Guess we're heading that way then. Why are we going. Oh. I see. And nose dive, perfect landing. <laughs> Tomatoes. Found something it didn't like there. Fame drops, right. I feel like we should probably grab a bunch of this while we're here. Because 
so I'm guessing that first and who was going to be a thing soon. Right. Oh wow, there's not just one tornado then. What's this? Oh. Ah. So I think we've found the corruption that's apparently like screwing over the island. Damn. You know this island's ecosystem to remove these. Choosing animals would win the island of these invasive plants. can barely see while you're here. It probably doesn't help that it's night time, but... Destroy the corruption nodes to cleanse the island. So it sounds the ecosystem to gather these. Is this a corruption node I take it? It looks kind of corrupted. Has it got more of those? Yes. Come on, get it! <laughs> I should go back home. No, don't! Kill it! Oh, so go all the way back here. So it's back here on death. Right, gotcha. We should head back and we should try to defeat that. Whatever it is. So here's the thing. Can I just like smash any old rock and just get... Not necessarily. Like if I go up here. Right. It's not as free-flowing as other survival crafting games, so I can't, like... I can't destroy just anything. It is basically... There are set things that you can and cannot destroy. And you can only destroy the things that I guess are designated as resources. I can't just smash through these, for example, and be like, Yeah, give me some stone. So no, don't you dare ruin our 
cool scenic thing that we've set up. Yeah. So I think we were on this second island over there. So we should head over. Um, can I do anything with dirty water? What can we do with this? Okay. Go up. Go up and... Huh. Okay, we're going to need more cloth, whatever these are. Now, what can we make with all this? New recipe. Leaf bucket. Continues to water a single space of soil and to milk female goats. Okay. I think if we... Okay, I've got a sneaking suspicion. Okay, firstly, that's going to make something. Stone dock. If a tool that can be used as a hoe or a spear. Interesting. Right. Stone sickle. Cutting grass and small plants. Stone sword. Okay. What's this? A spyglass. Interesting. Okay. Okay, sword is going on one. Spyglass, you can go over there. Tomato. Max HP plus four, three minutes. Oh. Let's eat the tomato. Clean it before you drink it. How? <laughs> Can I build a stove or something yet? Rope stockpile. Right. We'll head on our way, I think. I've got my stone sword. Should give me a edge in combat, I guess. My bold head, perfectly aerodynamic. We'll make a pit stop here. We've got a beetle. We'll call him Philip. He's our new friend. Wait a minute. I've just remembered that they all smash into rocks. And fall off the island. So I shouldn't be gathering these on the edge. I should gather the ones in the centre. Well, like that, if you've got the tool on you, it will swap to the correct tool when you... Yeah, okay.
Right. So our guy now is just carrying like six trees or something stupid in his inventory at this point. Just a ton of trees. Yeah. So it does need... Yeah. Before it just swapped to the tool. I wonder why it didn't there. Right. Okay. Emerald Isles Wild Seeds. Okay. Plant anywhere to go sturdy fir tree. Blue beetles. And over here we have some charcoal. Food, we have tomatoes. Right, so that's giving me some HP. We're ready to face the enemy. Ah, uh, I went too high. I pressed boost too many times. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Maybe I should use the controller for the flying sections. I probably should. Sword equipped. Let him do its thing. Ow, gear. Little gits. Leap has been unlocked. I don't know how to leap. Oh, I do have a block button that I didn't know about. Under the stars of fate... Uh, under, our star, under the stars our fate was safe at last. There we go. And we've unlocked a leaf bed. Right, and just like that, all the mushrooms are apparently gone. So this island's ecosystem to gather these. More diverse flow would provide enough food for critters. Okay, um...
Ecosystem Vitality. Just change out the plants a lot. Let's see what else we've got. Whoa, pow. Can, can I put him there? No. I can apparently put the blue beetle in the trap. Contribute to an item kit kit can help him by far. I don't want to put it in the trash, I want to put it on the floor. <laughs> Can I not do that? We can craft on the fly, so I guess the workbench is to find new things. Oh, in fact, no, this only has two slots. And I bet. Clean water? Yeah. Torch. Okay, they just disappeared, um, and they're back, and they're gone. The phantom plants, right. Um, I guess I'm just going to randomly put a bed here. Um, oh, we can. Okay, we might want to rethink that. We could make a little house if we want. Okay, um, foundations. Let's make ourselves a house. We'll make it... Um, we'll start with a... Oh dear. That's nice though, you can just grab the materials back, right. Okay. Oh wow, it just builds the whole structure, nice. I like that. Okay. 
Then let's put some... Let's put this there. Then let's go back into build menu. We'll put this down. Lovely. Then we're going to have some stairs. Okay. Oh, wow, actually, there's lots of different little... Ooh, right. I will say, one thing with these survival crafting games is the building on these has been getting way better over the years. It's much easier now to just build, like, a nice little house. If I really wanted to, uh... Let's see, uh... Yeah, if I really wanted to uh, get quite flash weird and make a really complicated thing, you definitely could do that, I think, here. Yeah. Right, um... On there... One there, one there, one there, then we go to the regular wall, And then we go roof, it's a good job we tore down an entire forest before we got here. Right. Yeah, we're probably going to need a bit more. Oh, that's nice. It just opens by itself. Lovely. <coughs> and after a short sleep... Oh, we even cast our own shadow. Lovely. <laughs> Quick, get them before they fall off. can of course well that's something you can I keep saying a prompt lay down I wonder if there's a button to go into third person mode surely there must be options controls no it's not gonna tell me key bindings okay here we go is there a interaction no glider Construction, sailing. Ooh, so there's sails, apparently. 
And no. That's too bad. I think you should be able to go into third person mode on this. Especially when, whenever you've got a character creator, I'd generally say probably have a third person mode. Because it's people are going to want to watch, uh, have a look at their character now and then. We're getting somewhere with it. Right, probably going to need a bit more wood. I'm realising as well that there's plenty of boulders and we don't want to leave them here. Right. We're nearly there. Excellent. Um. And Right, building mode. Workbench. Glide station. And so, right. We'll need six. <coughs> six leaf cloth for that. One leaf for that. One wood for that. Stone. One rope. One. Okay, so we need some leafy, cl leafy cloth. I do like that it will speed up as you go there. Some nice quality of life stuff. Um, right. Damn, that costs more. They look kind of like planters, don't they? Aren't different versions of them, though. We'll have a wood stockpile next to this uh, destroyed tree. Yeah, sorry, put the stones there as well. And we up over there. Right.
Oh wow, that barely put any in. I do like that they fill up, so oh, that's quite co uh, quite cool. Um, let's see even if we can get some stuff for our stockpiles. We mo if we hit all these in the right direction, they'll all fall here. And then... Right. That's an odd tree. Hmm. Anyway, we'll, uh, We're now hydrated. Wonderful. While we're at it, let's plant a bunch of stuff. So let's start with some tomatoes. Right. Can I not plant these just anywhere? Do they have to be on like certain types of ground? Right, pine trees then. Okay, let's do a bit more exploring. I think we might call it there for a look at the game. Let's try heading to this big one in the middle. Oh, you can go into the big twister then. Oh, wow, and there. Yeah. Oh, we've dropped on something pretty good here. It looks like there's something to discover. What have we got? Brought into this world... We were brought into this world to tame it. And tame it we did. Rudder. Okay, these are some trees. Look at them. 
absolutely massive. I'm guessing this won't cut it. Yeah. Like some sort of big ass world tree, isn't it? Right. Let's see if we can get different types of trees on this. Because I'm guessing we probably can. Great chestnut seeds. Okay. Right. This ball is too big to be smashed. Um, what about this one? Nope, too big. Damn. Too bad we can't just like gather these flowers and that. Because we, we need to put like new stuff back on our island to fix the ecosystem. Right. Oh, I see something over there. Completely underwhelming. It contained some wood. This is more interesting though. Hello. Have I perhaps got like a map of the area maybe? Dreams and progression encyclopedia. Items and Okay. We sailed the winds, thanked the storm, and mourned the sea. Leaf floater sail. Okay. Finding some stuff here. Right. So, question. Is there more that we can learn going through here? So I'm thinking that there probably is. We've got a rudder, we've got a sail. Hello. Everyone building like a... Yep, chopping everything down. Mining everything away. Farming the land. Creating more gliders. Um, 
having like a meeting and talking about stuff and then sailboats. Skyboat. Now here's the question. What do I attach it to? Uh, what what do I actually attach it to? Because I'm not certain. I think that there's probably more stuff through here. This looks like a new one. The great wind was our vessel and through its rage we reached serenity. Leave gaff sail. Piece of paper. Just pick all the random crap up. Right, we're certainly getting a lot of treasure. Now we've been through there. We've been through there. Where or where do we go next? Or have we discovered everything? Because I feel like there's still more here. Right, and what was out the front? Right. I guess this is where we're meant to come in. Only by knowing where we've been will we know where to go. Normally these things would be like logs and bits of law. Oh, did we just find some bacon and eggs? Ooh. But you, you just grab it and it's just like, no, here's a piece of paper. So, oh. Okay. Now we can finish this off of them, apparently. Right. We could even turn it into a little base if we wanted. Rebuild it and that. I get the feeling that you're not really meant to make a permanent base of operations here until you get to the point where you've kind of got your own giant airship. I'm curious to see how we build those, because I'm not certain at the moment. Intrigue contraption, usual for orientation tracking your exploration progress. We do not have enough of those weird stones for this yet. Leave gaff sail. Right. Hmm. 
Let's try. This island is too big to sail and it's impossible to move it. Oh! Oh! You don't... I was thinking, do I have to, like, build a, a building that doesn't have a foundation, maybe? No, 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 no. You have to build... Like, yeah, the, the island. Okay, the island becomes your ship. Build more floaters to lift the island. Rudders to rotate. Sails to propel. We're going to need a lot more rope. <laughs> and a lot more leaf baskets. Right. I think that we're just probably at about a good point to call it there. I think we've just seen the big draw to this game. So, it seems to me to be that, yeah, <clears throat> simply put, the, the big thing with this then. So, it seems to be the gameplay loop is you're going to all the different islands and exploring and going and rebuilding their ecosystem and stuff like that like what would probably be a good idea would be to get an island like this and just fill it with loads of different animals and stuff and loads of different things that you could then go and grab these and just throw them everywhere else you know get to a point where this is teeming with life and flora and fauna everywhere that you carry with you almost like a giant ark and just start dropping it all onto other islands to rebuild their ecosystems while trying to figure out why there's a giant storm. That seems to be the the sort of overarching um, premise of the game. But yeah, I'm liking this idea that you can just steer your... like I, I don't need to build, you know, to worry about building a base on that island and that island. And No, no, no. I, I will just move... I will move the base... To and bring it to you. I'll bring the party bus. We're going on tour, lads. <laughs> but yeah. Um, it's pretty nice. It's got a good aesthetic. Um, I'd love a third person mode to just switch to. Uh, it is apparently co-op. So you can go on it with your friends. As we saw at the main menu. There was the option to go into multiplayer mode and things. Um, just lots of... I think if you're wanting like a nice sort of casual uh, survival game which you can play with friends just like a it seems to lean much more heavily on the building and exploration side of things more than say combat and resource management and things like that that would otherwise make it fairly difficult so it seems much more casual much more laid back and chill so if, if you're wanting a survival crafting game that's more about just kind of laying back and just chilling out for a while and doing something that isn't uh, overly stressful and that, this is probably right up there for you. I think it's... Yeah, I can definitely see uh, people having a draw to this. Um, me, personally, I prefer them to be a bit more... Uh, bit more on the survival role-playing game sort of uh, side of things. 
But again, the the concept of just this giant mobile island base, I really like. I think something that they get really wrong in survival crafting games is this idea of oh you're gonna go and you're gonna make this giant ass fort, but then if you want to go and explore a new area, you have to go and build a new one. You know, the the idea of a mobile base, I think, uh, <clears throat> I think is a very good idea. I think more survival crafting games should try and focus more, not just on base building, but the idea of like again having like a mobile base and yeah, airships and you know maybe like uh, giant trucks full of stuff in the post-apocalypse or having like a big ass mech or you know with with like a <laughs> bed on the back, almost like a camper van or something, you know. Things like these, I think, will probably be a driving force in survival games to come. Just, like, how are you going to do the base, and what weird concept are you going to use to introduce the base being a mobile thing? And I think that's... I think it's a, it's a good idea they've got here, though. I think just on that concept alone, this has probably got legs more than some of the other games I've looked at, especially in this next fest. Anyway, that said, thank you very much for watching. This has been Aloft, and this has been part of my coverage of the Steam Next Fest. This will probably be uh, coming out shortly, you can bet. It won't be long until it'll be, I'm guessing, out. But if you like what you see, it's available to wishlist. The Next Fest will probably be over by the time this is airing, but usually the demos are up for a while afterwards. If not, again, wishlist it if you do like what you see give the video a subscribe as well uh, well give a video a like give me a subscribe if you also like what you see and thank you very much for watching more coming up in the steam next fest i'm kind of drawing to the end of the amount of games i'm wanting to cover at this point but there'll probably still be a few episodes left in it uh, if you're still wanting to stick around and again subscribe to the channel if you do you want to get notified about on future videos? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then.